Okay, we're just gonna keep rolling today. Um, so we just finished the nose. And again, you can watch that video as many times as you need to. I also did a time-lapse uh, video of uh, finishing this eye and the nose, and it turned out a little different on that one. So um, if you wanna watch that, you can. Uh, so halfway between the nose and the chin, we have the mouth line coming down from the center of the eye and the outside edge of the nose, somewhere between here and here is gonna be where how wide your mouth is. So um, you've got quite a bit of space here. You've got a top lip, okay, and then a bottom lip. And then remember, we're gonna adjust the jawline um, last. So you just kinda of have to go with what you feel. On the mouth, I usually start by establishing a dip in the upper lip, okay? And you're gonna come down, I kinda, I tend to arc down. You can go to the widest point or you can come somewhere in between. You just wanna make sure it's the same on both sides. Okay, then you have a center line. And it, usually in my beginner videos, I just draw the mouth closed because when you start uh, working with smiles and that changes the cheeks and, and all kinds of different stuff. So for this video, we're just gonna do a basic mouth, unexcited, unimpressed person, <laughs> not expressing a ton of emotion, but lots of personality. So you have um, our upper lip established here. You can have a thinner upper lip or a thicker, thinner thick for the bottom lip. It's all up to you. I'm gonna do a little bit thinner bottom lip on this one. So I'm just kind of establishing where I want that to be when I have it in the center on the nose. Then I'm gonna come up to match up there, okay? Um, as far as contrast goes, the darkest areas of the, the face are the nostrils, the shading here, the shading here, and um, the eyes, and then where the lips come together, okay? So a lot of times people uh, have creases or wrinkles or whatever in their lips, and you can add some, some character to your person's lips, that's totally fine. The upper lip cuts back in space, and you can observe that in a mirror, you can feel it with your finger, so this top part is sticking out further, and this part where the lips come together is at an angle, it goes back into space. So, when you're doing this shading, it's gonna be darker where the lips come together, and then it's gonna get lighter as it comes up. Now the lips are a different color of skin than the face is, so you have a local color that you want to establish. So if you're gonna leave your, your white, because it's a pencil sketch, as your skin tone color, then you want to darken the entire lip a little bit, just like we did with the eyes with the local color. Um, if they have darker lips, then uh, you wanna do a little bit darker of a gray, okay? So you have That looks weird. Okay, well, just trying to do a little bit more of a contour there, but it got uneven. I can go back and lift it out. I can put a little highlight there if I wanted to. All right. Now the bottom lip curves from where the lips come together outward. Okay, so you're going to have a shadow actually underneath the lip in most cases. Not super dark, but a little bit, okay? And then you're gonna have a lighter highlight right here in the center, okay? And then a little bit of shading on the outside edges. It's usually darker right here where the lips come together. I like to do a little bit of a shadow there and have it come out lighter. That's a pretty big highlight. I can probably tone that down a little bit. And the lip does curve away from you a little bit, so on that bottom part, hold still. Okay. 
So you have your mouth, and then underneath the mouth, you may have a dimple, you may have, but the chin is also a sphere. So we're gonna erase our original oval, and we're gonna choose a jawline shape that we like down here, and we're gonna get that shadow into the chin. So you got a little bit of shadow here, and uh, kind of a pointy chin. Oh, that's all right though. 